Amen. God is good. I want to say this is going to be a day, I believe, a celebration for us in this church. Um, I'm excited about the future, and I trust you are as well. And I know there's, when everything, when there's any transition, when there's any change, how many people like change? <laughs> change can be good. Well, that says a lot. <laughs> but, when the, <laughs> but when the change is good... Who likes change? Amen. There we go. And, uh, and I believe this is going to be a really good change for us and the, the, the direction ahead. And I trust that as we begin to seek God, and we've sought God over these last months and, uh, and years for God's direction in the future. And, uh, and I believe that God's heard the, heard the prayers of his people. And uh, we come this morning excited about what God is doing. This is not about Rod Shearing. This is not even about Bruce Olson. This is about Jesus That's right. and what he is doing. And I want to really emphasize that a bit later on when I, I just going to speak very briefly and everybody said amen. amen. And, uh, but I, I want this to be a time of reality, a, a time where we really think things are set within this fellowship that God has appointed and God has done. So we're going we're gonna to sing together. This is amazing grace. Amen. We're going to stand and sing together. This is amazing grace. Church. 
Receive him as a pastoral gift from God to the church. Love him and his wife Cheryl and pray for them. Work with them and support them in every way you can. Labor with eternity in view. To Bruce and Cheryl, I say, welcome to official ministry at Highway Church. Take heed to the ministry that you have received from the Lord that you fulfill it. Be people of prayer and of the word. Preach the word. 1 Timothy 4, 10 to 16 says, For to this end we toil and strive, because we have our hope set on the living God, who is the Savior of all people, especially those who believe. Command and teach these things. Let no one despise your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of scripture, to exhortation, to teaching. Do not neglect the gift that you have, which was given you by prophecy when the council of elders laid their hands on you. Practice these things. Immerse yourself in them, so that you may see your pro or so that all may see your progress. Keep a close watch on yourself and on the teaching. Persist in this, for by doing so, you will save both yourself and your hearers. To quote one of the ancients, the future is as bright as the promises of God. Be faithful to the Lord, for the best is yet to come for Highway Church. God bless you. Eddie Bradley, Pastor Emeritus, Highway Church. Amen. It's quite a day for me, because when you asked me to say something um, over you to... Um, of course, I went through the Bible, and uh, the Lord brought me to Timothy, and uh, it's so fitting because I'm really proud of both of you. You're standing here, and you're going to be doing God's work, but the Lord wanted me to share these uh, scriptures with you. It's um, 2 Timothy 3, um, verses 14 to 17, and 2 Timothy 4, verse 1 to 5. Bruce and Cheryl. You must remain faithful to the things that you have been taught. You know they are true. For you know that you can trust those who taught you. Bruce and Cheryl, you have been taught the Holy Scriptures, and they have been given to you the wisdom to receive the salvation that comes from trusting in Jesus Christ. Bruce, remember that all Scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong, and it teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do what is right. See, God uses this to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. Bruce and Cheryl, I so only urge you in the presence of God and Jesus Christ who will someday judge the living and the dead when he comes up to set when he comes to set up his kingdom. Bruce and Cheryl, preach the word of God. Be prepared whether the time is favorable or not. Bruce and Cheryl, patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage this church and its people with good teaching. Mm -hmm. For the time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and they will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want them to hear. They will reject the truth and they'll chase after myths. But Bruce and Cheryl, you should keep a clear mind in every situation. Don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Work at telling others the good news, and fully carry out the ministry God has given you. Bruce and Cheryl, and this comes from my heart. May God, our Lord Jesus Christ, guide and direct you in your new position and give you many, many blessings of the days to come. Amen. So if someone wants to pray, I'll hand you the mic so that you can pray. Is there anybody here that wants to pray? 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I, I just pray right at the beginning here. Lord, I just pray for a heavy presence to come on Bruce today. Not a heaviness that is a discouragement, but Father, a heaviness that can be a lightness within his spirit. The heaviness of your presence, the heaviness of the Holy Spirit to come upon him. I pray that, Lord, you will fill this man. Lord, I know you've called him. Lord, you've given him many indications that this is where he needs to be. And Father, thank you for fulfilling that in him. Lord, I thank you for the joy that, Lord, you put within his spirit as well. Lord, people have said, he even looks different. And Father, I believe that's because he has been released to do the things that, Lord, you've called him to do. And so, Father, I say, say thank you for the calling that you put upon him. And I pray that, Lord, that when the times do go tough, that he will go back to that calling that's upon his life. Lord, we recognize, Lord, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, especially when we have the calling of God upon our lives. And so, Father, today, I thank you for that calling. I pray that, Lord, you will enhance it. Lord, you will make it more real to him day by day. And, Father, as he just comes into this role for this time being, Father, I pray that, Lord, you will just fulfill the desires of his heart. Lord, those things that, Lord, you've been speaking to him about. Lord, those things that he wants to put into operation. Father, I pray that, Lord, he will begin to see those things fulfilled. Lord, they may have been dreams that have been there for a long, long time. Things that, Lord, you've put in his heart many years ago. And, Father, I know there's been many things that you put in his heart years ago. I pray that, Lord, you will see the fulfillment of those things. Father, thank you for giving him patience. Father, thank you for, Lord, him taking the time that he needed to order to, in order to be here this morning. And, Father, thank you for his serving heart. Lord, the way that he served others. Lord, at, uh, at, Burn- at uh, Caribou Road. Lord, I thank you for the way that he served there. Willing to help. Father, now, Lord, you're, I believe you're stepping him into another, another dimension, another step, another place forward. And I pray, Lord, for your anointing to be upon him in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for Bruce and for Cheryl. And Lord, we thank you for their willingness to follow your steps and Lord we just pray your abundant blessing on them Lord as we sang that song today blessing you that talked about blessing your family for a thousand generations and Father we pray this blessing on Bruce and Cheryl's family Lord we claim every member of their family for you Lord, we know that you do all things well. And Lord, you are still working in the hearts of their loved ones. And Father, we just pray as Bruce and Cheryl step out now into this area of ministry, Father, that they will be surrounded by your angels. Lord, that there will be a hedge of protection around them and around their family. Lord, we just pray, Father, that you would anoint them in ways they haven't even imagined yet. Lord, that you will give them the words to speak into people's lives. Lord, that they will see much fruit for their labor, Jesus. Lord, we pray especially for Cheryl. Lord, that she would be able to stand strong and to support Bruce in the ways that he needs it. Lord, that we know that you have gifted Cheryl to Bruce as a helpmeet. And Lord, that even though she's not going to walk in full-time ministry in the same way that he is, Lord, we know that you've called her to ministry as well. And so, Father, we just pray for boldness for Cheryl. Lord, that she would have confidence, and Lord, just a sense of your peace and leading in every direction. Lord, that you would unite them together even stronger than before, that they will be able to stand whatever storms come against them. Lord, that you would prove yourself again to be faithful every step of the way, and we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Anybody else? Don't want to leave anybody out for praying. (sighs) 
O oh Lord, words fail me. Words fail us how to bless that dear brother. And Lord, you have spoken to our hearts. You have spoken to my hearts in the middle of the night to bless the highway church, O oh Lord. And Lord, words fail me, but I just want to pray your anointing and your blessing on that brother and his wife so they may be a blessing to the people here, Lord. Oh God, we lack, we, we cry out for your anointing, Lord. When we have the anointing, when we cry out for the anointing of the Almighty, it, it put so many things in place. It takes all our human thinking away. Oh, God, breathe on this man and this brother and his wife so he can be a blessing to the flock here. Hallelujah. Breathe on us, oh, God, to be a blessing one to another. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Bruce mm. and Cheryl, the mm. Lord is looking at you right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's saying, he's saying to you, I am pleased, I am well pleased, you faithful servants, because he knows where you've come from. You've come from the bottom but you've raised up to the top and you want to share your hopes and your experiences and your prayers with the people that you serve because you have now called like, the Lord is calling you into his service and he wants you to be faithful and he wants you to be just because you're going to be such an asset and such a benefit in this community and in this church. So the Lord is saying, I am very well pleased, mm -hmm. my faithful servants. Yes. Jesus, thank you. Praise you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Bruce. Zechariah 4 speaks of a man called Zerubbabel. Mm -hmm. And the hand of the Lord was on Zerubbabel. There's three parts of the scripture, the fourth chapter says, not by power, not, not by might, by my spirit, by my spirit, says the Lord. A little later on, it talks about do not despise the days of small beginnings. It also talks about the foundation and the completion of the temple. He was chosen by God. His hands were blessed for the work in Jesus' name. And in his hand, was given a plumb line. <laughs> so I say, faithful and true. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Let's just bathe in this moment. It's not by might nor by power but it's by the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. And this morning we're saying, Lord, Holy Spirit, come. Mm -hmm. Fill this place, Lord, when we know that when the temple was opened up, Father, that presence of God came so heavily upon it that they couldn't even speak. Yeah. And Father, we pray that, Lord, there will be times such as that in this place mm -hmm. where your presence will be so heavy yeah. that, Lord, people will not be able to minister yeah. even in the house of God. And so, Father, we pray, Holy Spirit, come. We invite you to come this morning. Come and fill us all, we pray. 
Lord, as we were mentioning this morning, Lord, we're all servants here this morning, yes. waiting for the breath of God to breathe into us so that you can use us and so that you can fill us, Lord. We need you. We need you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift your voices to him this morning. We give you praise. We give you thanks in this place. Lord, we lift up the name of Jesus. You're the name that is above every name. You're the name that is above every name. Hallelujah. We bless you this morning. We bless you this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, Father, keep this couple, Lord. Lord, I pray that, Lord, you will embrace them. You will protect them. You will lead them. You will guide them in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. May I say something yet? Uh, forgive me what I'm saying and let the Lord be the judge what I'm going to say now. Uh, and I was just thinking when I heard the different people speaking, uh, the Lord says, isn't that what I put in your heart the last couple of weeks and so? And uh, I've, been, I've been, sometimes when I can't sleep and in the middle of the night I get up at two or three in the morning and I wait on the Lord. And the Lord, I humbly say that humbly before God. And, and this song, an old him, it's in English too, it rang in my heart, and I want to sing it. And the Lord, if I am not humble, may the Lord judge me. It comes from deep within. I didn't mark it down on paper. And so there it is. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, oh, come to the church by the highway. Oh, come, people of the Lord, and come. You will learn the ways of your God, and he'll bless you. Be below, come, oh, come. Come, come to the church by the highway. He'll teach you his ways of the Lord. The Lord will feed you and guide thee if your heart is adjusted to the Lord. Oh, come. Come, come to the church by the highway. The Lord has prepared men for his work. Oh, come and hear the gospel of Jesus. You'll be blessed, you'll be blessed, oh, rejoice. Bless you, Ted. It would be fitting for us right at the commencement of our time together this morning to just come around the table of the Lord. It's because of Jesus while we're here. So it centers back to him. Bless you, Bruce. Amen. Amen. What a blessing. And I, I wanted to say that um, thank you for welcoming Cheryl and I here. Um, we feel blessed to be a part of Highway Church. Um, and we are um, really excited to see what God is going to be doing and the direction that we're going. And I, I love the message that Pastor Rod gave this morning where he talked that it's some water, some plant, but it's God who does the works. And it's only Jesus that does it. And we need to come back to the cross because that's where our focus needs to be. It needs to be always on the cross. That's who can do the work. Pastor Rod has done great works in the past 27 years here. That doesn't mean that it's gone. It means that we're going to now move forward. And we're going to move into a new direction. But we want to come back to the cross. 
We want to make sure that Jesus is at the center of all that we do, where all that we go. And so before I continue on anymore, I think it's important that you have the elements in your hand because I believe it's important for you to be prepared to take communion and that we come. And so I, you know, I just, I'm going to say this. If, if you don't know who Jesus Christ is and you're here this morning for the very first time or you're online, I'm not sure if we're online, but if you're online for the, and you're watching and you don't know who Jesus is, I just want to take one minute right now and just do a prayer of of salvation and then we will then I'll ask everyone here to come up and get their elements and then we will continue Lord if you if you haven't and don't know who Jesus is or you've been waiting to ask him into your heart today's the day to now's the time it is now to ask him why wait because he's coming he's coming and he wants to come and he wants to bless you in your life and so this morning, if you, if you just repeat this after me, just say, Lord Jesus, come. Come into my heart. I'm going to make you the Lord of my life. Forgive me all my sins and show me the new ways I need to walk in. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just want to end, and I pass the back, mic back to Pastor Rod, and, and just end with this one piece. And this piece was when we were singing that last song. And I, <clears throat> I had a mentor. And she mentored me for over 13 years. Her name was Pastor Ruth. She was an amazing woman who walked with an amazing grace. And as you were singing the last song, Cheryl turned to me and said, Pastor Ruth is here. Do you remember? She closed every single service with saying, May God bless you. May God keep you. May he shine his face upon you. May he be gracious to you. And I want to tell you that my mentor, who passed away almost four years ago, was in the room tonight, blessing us, knowing that she prepared the works in me for the works that God had, and she showed me the direction to go. I just, th I just thank you for welcoming me here, and thank you for choosing that last song. Father, you are our hope. You are our fortress. You are our deliverer this morning. And Father, we thank you that, Lord, there's been many in this room that has been delivered. Father, there's been those that have been set free from the bondages of sin. And Father, we're here to, this morning to celebrate and rejoice over the goodness of God within our lives. And Father, we know that the future 
is in your hands. And Father, this morning we're committing our future into your hands. And we're saying that, Lord, you will, Lord, you will pour your anointing upon us. Father, there, there, will be, there will be those that plant. There are going to be planters in this place. Father, there are going to be those that will come alongside and they will water that. But Father, we know that, Lord, you're the one that's going to bring the increase. Amen. Father, you're the one that's going to bring blessing. You're the one that's going to bring the overflow, we pray in Jesus' name. So, Father, we are looking to you today. And, Father, we thank you. We say thank you for using us in your kingdom. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.